Hola chicos. Well, the first common mistake is use soy, I am, to say your age. Now, basically, it's your birthday and you want to say happy birthday to you, feliz cumpleaños, and you want to say yes, soy trece años. But it's absolutely wrong. Don't say soy. Use tengo trece años. Literally, I have 13 years old. So always use tengo to say your age. You can use soy to describe yourself. Soy alto, I'm tall, or to say your nationality. Soy inglés, I'm English. You can even describe yourself. Soy rápido, I'm fast. Now, Bar Simpson is a boy. Soy divertido means I'm amusing. And because Bar Simpson is a boy, divertido ends in O. But Lisa is a girl. So you wouldn't say soy divertido, you would say soy divertida. So you change the O to A. That will happen in basically most of the describing words who ends in O, like divertido to divertida. Aburrido becomes aburrida if you talk about a girl, boring. Tonto, silly, becomes tonta. And guapo, handsome, becomes guapa, pretty. But other describing words don't change the ending. Inteligente, intelligent, importante, important, and alegre, happy. The general rule is if the describing words end in O, becomes A if you talk about someone feminine. And if the describing words ends in E, it stays the same. <laughs> Okay, we already know some opinions. For example, me gusta, I like. Another one could be odio, I hate. But what on earth is an infinitive? Okay, an infinitive will almost always begin with to, followed by the action word, the verb. For example, to listen, that is an infinitive. Another one could be to eat, that is an infinitive. And the last one, the last example, to write. That is an infinitive. Okay, all the infinitives in Spanish end in AR, ER, or IR. So, for example, escuchar is to listen. Comer means to eat. And escribir means to write. The main common mistake is putting that word after the opinion. Escucho música is I listen music. You should say, odio escuchar música, because escuchar is the infinitive. Another example, me gusta juego al fútbol. Juego al fútbol means I play football. It's absolutely wrong. You should say, me gusta jugar al fútbol, because jugar is the infinitive. So, remember, after an opinion, me gusta o odio, always write down the infinitive in Spanish. Don't make that mistake again. Now, I want you to think in this character, Charlie Brown. In Spanish, you would say Charlie Marron, because Marron means brown in Spanish. Now, a very common mistake is trying to translate literally from English when you describe something. A brown dog in Spanish you could say un marrón perro, but it's absolutely wrong because the describing word needs to be after the noun. So instead of un marrón perro, you will say un perro marrón, a brown dog. Now, can you spot the mistake in here? Yes. Un blanco gato is wrong. It should be un gato blanco, a white cat. Remember, always the describing word after the noun. Okay, now you need to clear your throat, because you need to make that sound when you pronounce the letter J in Spanish. So it's not jugar, it's jugar, to play. It's not jamón, that's a common mistake, it's jamón, ham. And it's not trabajar, it's trabajar, 
to work. So please don't make all these mistakes and keep listening. Adios.